our skin cells and heart cells all have the same genome, but how can they turn out so different? The answer can be found in something called epigenetics. So what is epigenetics and why is it so important? We know DNA encodes genetic information. During development, DNA also accumulates chemical tags that determine how much a little of the genes are expressed. We call this collection of chemical tags epigenome. You can imagine epigenome as cell's library. Every cell has their own library, and this library has so many books. And these chemical tags are just like the characters in their books. So every cell pick only one book to read. For example, a heart cell is reading how to become a good heart cell. <laughs> and, a skin, and a skin cell is reading 1,000 things you should know about a successful skin cell. <laughs> so if we can edit the book they are currently reading, we can tell them what we want and let them become our desired cell type. That means we can produce functional cells from the healthy cells in a patient to replace their disease or damaged ones. And this strategy is promising to cure cancer, type 1 diabetes, etc. Now you may think, this is super promising. Why nobody use it now? Well, the idea is great because cell has a different language system. They cannot understand our language, and we cannot directly read their book. Let's say if we want a skin cell to become a nerve cell, only two to three cells among 100 cells can accomplish this mission, just like these one purple cells in a bunch of green cells. And these, the difficulty of this type of conversion happens almost every time when we want to produce functional cells from the healthy cells in the patient. That means if we want to use the purple cell to treat disease, we will start with a bunch of green cells, leading to expensive costs. So my research aims to understand cells' language. Remember I said these chemical tags are just like the characters in their book. So the first thing I do is to use the high throughput sequencing tool to examine how these characters are organized into sentences and paragraphs in their book. Then, with the help of machine learning algorithm, I can discover the easy to edit locations in their book. Because if you insert the message in the wrong place, cells still don't understand and may even cause other problems. By understanding their language and having a map of the locations we should use to edit their book, I can engineer cell identity precisely to let them become whatever cell type we need. And this will also help us to produce much more purple cells using the same number of green cells. I believe this platform is of great, great potential to help the development of cell therapies and treat disease and cure disease. Thank you.